Welcome to the course 5021 Design of Machine Elements. In this lecture, we will be discussing about designation of screw threads. Designation of screw threads means how we will represent a screw thread. So, mainly we are using two parameters for representing a screw thread or denoting or identifying a screw thread. The first parameter is its nominal diameter or major diameter. And the second parameter is its pitch. So before going to discuss about the designation of screw threads, we can look what is meant by a coarse thread and fine thread. So in this figure, you can see there are two threaded fasteners or through two bolts. So I am naming this as this is a bolt number one, and this is bolt number. So we have two bolts, bolt number one and bolt number two. Both are having same major diameter or nominal diameter. Now consider the threaded portion. So in the coarse thread bolt, you can see that the threads per inch is less compared to the fine thread bolt. So here you can we can compare the pitch of these two threads. So pitch is the we can represent pitch by distance between two adjacent crusts. So this is the pitch in this thread. And in the fine thread bolt, the pitch is small. So compared to the uh, bolt number one, the pitch in bolt number two is less. So threads per inch. So per unit length, the number of threads will be greater in the second case. That is, this type of threads are known as uh, fine threads. If the pitch is small, there will be more number of threads per inch. And here in a coarse thread, the number of threads per inch will be less. So from the figure itself, you can see that in the given length, there will be uh, more, more number of threads in a fine threaded bolt. So, we are using two methods for designating the threads. One method is for coarse thread and another method is for fine threaded bolts. So, the designation of screw thread is based on uh, a particular standard. That standard is known as IS4218 Part 4. This IES is Indian standard. So based on this Indian standard, we are designating the screw threads. So commonly we are using a symbol or letter capital M. So the size of the screw thread is designated by the letter capital M followed by the major diameter, major diameter and pitch in M. So the major diameter and pitch are the two parameters used for representing a screw thread and the dimensions will be represented in M. And the two parameters, that is the major diameter and pitch are separated by a sign, a cross sign. Okay, so it will be uh, look like this, M diameter by pitch. So in this way, we can designate a screw thread, M followed by diameter of the thread in mm by pitch of the thread in mm. Uh, please note that this diameter is major diameter or nominal dia. May, we will also call it as nominal dia, major dia or nominal dia. So we are representing the screw thread with the major diameter. Now we can look some of the examples. So we have the three examples. In the first case, M8 by 1.25. Here, this 8 indicates the major diameter and 1.25 indicates the pitch of the thread. Second, next one, M12 by 1.75. This 12 indicates major diameter, 1.75 is the pitch. Third case, M12 by 1.25. This 12 indicates the major diameter, 1.25 is the pitch. So, this is the one method of screw thread designation. M followed by the major diameter followed by the pitch. Okay. 
generally this type of screw thread designation is used for fine threads if no pitch is mentioned if you are not mentioning the pitch then such type of uh, designation will be used for coarse pitch threads that is in such cases for coarse pitch we will represent only m12 m12 means it's a thread having major diameter 12 mm suppose if you are mentioning it as m12 by 1.25 that indicates it is a fine pitch screw thread so we will not indicate pitch for coarse pitch screw threads we will indicate this parameter pitch only for fine pitch screw thread so i have already discussed what is the difference between a coarse pitch and fine pitch fine pitch means there will be more number of threads per length that is the pitch will be small and the number of threads per length will be greater than this coarse thread bolts so this table gives some standard dimensions of screw threads so i have already mentioned that we are following an indian standard is4218 as per indian standard is4218 these are the commonly used dimensions of the screw thread okay. so m 0.4 this is 0.0.4 0.4 means the major diameter 0.6, 0 0.8, 1, 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8, 2, 2.2, 2.5. In this way up to um, M60. Up to M60, we are using these values. And uh, separate tables are available for core series and fine series. Now, consider the case of an 8 mm or 10 mm diameter bolt. So here, the core series we will designate it with m10 m10 indicates that it is a core series thread having major diameter 10 m how we can identify whether it is a coarse thread or a fine thread for coarse thread bolts the designation will contain only the major diameter value after m there will be the major diameter value 14 but in the case of fine series the major diameter will be followed by its corresponding pitch 1.5 so in this coarse thread series for m14 the pitch was 2 mm but in fine series pitch is 1.5 mm so the pitch is less so uh, as pitch is less there will be more threads per axial length for example 20 mm 20 mm diameter ulla rendu thread one coarse lum one fine lum aanu consider cheya ivide m appo coarse lum anengil represent m20 avada pitch 2.5 varunnundu pakshe fine thread il pitch 2.5 varilla pitch varunnathu idu 1.5 appo pitch koravana adu kondu adu fine fine adipich threads adipich adipich aayirikkum threads threads gal thammile distance valare koraynadu kondu aanu adu fine thread ennu parayundu valare adutha aayirikkum thread varunnathu pitch koraiyumbo that's the difference between coarse thread and fine thread so nammal uh, design cheyina samayathe when we are uh, doing some calculations suppose uh, we will get a value as diameter of the bolt as d equal to 17 mm using calculations sometimes we will get the value d equal to 17 mm but as per standard we are not using a bolt having 17 mm major diameter after 16 we have 18 mm as major diameter so we will take the bolt as m18 karena namaku calculation cheyidittu namaku venda bolt inde diameter ilpa kittuya 17 mm aayirikkum adalla endengil namaku kittuya 16.8 mm ennu kitti enu kerudha 16.8 mm nu next round figure aayittu 17 mm inde bolt available aano standard aayittu namaku use cheyarundo illa namaku choose cheyar 18 aanu so we will choose m18 as our bolt okay so uh, all these dimensions are major diameter dimensions the dimensions will be in mm and it will give the diameter major diameter nominal diameter now we can see that in this figure so this is we have already discussed this is the pitch and 
major diameter is the distance between one crust to the next crust. The maximum diameter, the outermost diameter in a threaded fastener bolt is the major diameter. So it I am considering an example. I am here writing M20. M20 means this major diameter is 20. This major diameter is 20 M. Okay. Now, if I am considering M 10 by 1.25. If I am denoting a screw thread like this, that 10 means so M10 by 1.25 means major diameter will be 10 mm and what is this 1.25? That 1.25 is the pitch. 1.25 is the pitch. So, here we have major diameter and pitch. Now, there is a relation to calculate minor diameter or core diameter. Minor diameter is also known as core diameter DC. So, there is an equation for calculating minor diameter from the major diameter. That equation is given as core diameter is equal to core diameter dc is equal to 0 0.84 times d 0 0.84 times d means d is the major diameter so uh, if you get uh, the dimensions of thread as m30 m30 means d is for example uh, i can do a calculation here Suppose my thread is M30. That means major dia or nominal dia is 30 mm. How we can calculate the minor diameter? Minor diameter or core diameter DC is equal to 0 0.84 D. Which is equal to 0 0.84 into 30 mm. So using this equation you can calculate the core diameter okay thank you